Hi, I'm sitting with Dr. Jerry Mullen today, um, Associate Professor of Medicine at Johns Hopkins. I'm very happy to be sitting with him today as he is very knowledgeable about something very important to um, medicine and science today, which is the microbiome and the gut and how that affects our health and the rest of our bodies. Um, this is of particular importance, I think, to a lot of the chronic disease that we're experiencing in the United States and globally today. I want to talk about probiotics and prebiotics. So, you know, it's a word thrown around a lot now, but just a simple explanation, I think, sometimes is, is a good place to start. So if you wouldn't mind explaining, you know, what, what are prebiotics and, pro and probiotics and, you know, what are, what are some of the best foods that have you know, that are probiotics and prebiotics, and is it better to take them in pill form, and, and why are they so important to, as, you know, part of a, a diet nowadays? Well, I think it's best to first say that the gut microbiome is this dynamic living ecosystem within, within us that is uh, necessary for us to thrive and, and to live from a number of different metabolic points of view. And that when we eat, we eat not only to provide calories for us and micronutrients and other essentials for our cellular health and our overall health, but we feed them as well. So when we eat, somehow we have to think and keep in mind, it's like a state of pseudo-pregnancy, is that we need to feed another organism within us because that organism will in turn support our, our health and our growth. Um, so when we eat, for example, you mentioned the term probiotics and prebiotics. I mean, these are just, in probiotics, the definition are the living organisms that are commensal in nature and they are symbiotic and they help us thrive and we are taking them in in one form or another. Whether it's in a dietary supplement form, hence the term probiotic supplements, or in a diet, um, they become and actually, by doing that, they actually provide a, a health benefit because you're supporting the microbiome. And, and likewise, prebiotics are food substances that actually support the health of the gut microbiome. So there are foods that are prebiotic in nature, like asparagus and bananas and artichokes and, and so many different foods that actually that are not fermentable by us but are by the good bacteria and they actually selectively help the growth of the commensal and or healthy friendly flora that are within us. And so we can take those prebiotics in a supplement form or more importantly in food form. So when we eat smart, we have to kind of keep in mind that what we eat will support our microbial health and not just eat for pleasure or calories.